So you want to teach a digital course, but something's holding you back. Hey, I've been there, but I want to help you out today. Actually, I'm going to go through five different types of digital, digital courses, but let me talk to you about something. See, I talk to people all the time and they say, well, I don't know if I know enough. That in stupid syndrome that you get into, I don't think you're very good, right? It's dumb. Get that negative thought out of your head. See, if you've gotten results somewhere, or you've shown somebody results, you can make a digital course. And then there's this next thought out there that people say, well, wait a second, Mark. There are tons of digital courses out there and people have them, what I wanna to do too. Well, guess what? I make digital courses and there are people that have made digital courses just like mine, but they don't do it in my voice. And they don't teach the way I teach. And they don't teach the same people I teach. See, the key is, my background is a high school teacher, public school teacher. When I first got started, holy shoot, I didn't know what I was doing. I really didn't. All I knew, I, I had to stay a day ahead of my students. And it's the same way at teaching a digital course. You have to stay, and they say 10%, but I teach step by step. And while you generally do, I'll put a course out over a week. and. All I try to do is stay a week ahead, right? So if I put out six modules, seven modules, and I'll share that later about what that is, I usually only have the first module done. And then I start listening to the people who are taking the course, what they're looking for, what they're asking me questions about. And then I start moving my course that way. So this fallacy that you cannot do a course, a digital course, it's all wrong. So let me go over the five types because that I think will really help. The first one is a workshop course. And a workshop course can be uh, either live or recorded. And you do charge for it. It's not a free webinar. You do charge for it. It can be anywhere from $10 to $100 to maybe even $200. And it's usually about one to two hours long. So what kind of course can that be? It can be just teaching something that you know. You can teach how to go do Facebook Lives how to do this new Instagram Reels that is going out and is hot. TikTok maybe, right? And it doesn't have to be anything very outlandish. You just can do a pre-recording or go live, charge for it, and you're good to go. That's the first type of course, the second type of course. And in fact, I encourage a lot of people, but it, to do this, they're just getting out, it started as a starter course. And it's just that. It's, now, when I first started in the starter course, I made a course called the, your, do, your Digital Marketing Blueprint. And it was three to four modules. It was, to tell you the truth, it was, I got better at it because I changed it. But the first time out, it wasn't really very good. But I learned how to put together. But I actually taught you how to put a digital marketing course together. Right? And those courses can be anywhere from... 47 to $200. Mine started out, I believe, at 27. I raised it to 97 as I got better at it. But you can do something like that. The next one is called a spotlight course. And the spotlight course is really specialized, right? Like maybe teaching Facebook ads. Now, I don't do Facebook ads. I do Facebook ads, but that's not my specialty. I generally will hire somebody to do my ads because they know more about it than I do. It could be a copywriting. Right, it's a little more intense course. And you can do that whatever your what your expertise is in. You can make a spotlight course. You can teach somebody how to do quilting. Right? Now these courses generally run 197 to 497. But there's been lots of people that have made six figures doing a spotlight course. Now the next course, this is my favorite really is. It's called a signature course. Some people call it a core course. And what it is, is you go really in depth. See, I like to teach people. I like to teach teachers. I like to teach entrepreneurs how to leave their nine to five, if that's what their choice is, in learning how to put digital courses together and then not only create them, learning how to market them on webinars, learning how to market on social media, and start creating 
a different lifestyle than they're really in. It's amazing. Now, at first, I didn't know how to do that because I was learning how to do it myself. But a signature course is the granddaddy of all, the Mac daddy of all. This is the one you put everything into, everything you know. Right now, mine, I have a digital course university. And to tell you the truth, what it is, I put it out, I launch it four different times in the year. And I've changed it different years. But it's seven modules. I take people from what teaching them what they want to do, what kind of course they want, to where they get out and market it online. It is just an amazing course. And these courses run you know, usually from four ninety seven to maybe two ninety seven, not two ninety seven, two thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars, three thousand dollars. And to tell you the truth, you can make a lot of money with this, a lot of money. You can help a ton of people with this by sharing everything you know and getting them to the same spot. Now, the last one, and I don't do these, it, it's called a certification course, right? It, and they can cost a lot of money. And there's some really good people out there that are teaching people how to be life coaches. You know, that's just one idea. Teaching people how to do, to get certified somewhere and they can charge anywhere from 10K to 20K and they're really great courses. Again, that's something I don't do. I don't suggest it for somebody first starting out. But, you know, if, if you have been into something all your life and you put a certification course that you're going to actually certify them somewhere, you can make a lot of money in that, too. Now, money isn't, I've said that a couple of times, and that's not really everything what you want to do, right? When you make a course, what you want to do is you want to help people. That's all it is. When you get this out of your mind that one, you're not good enough to do this, two, who would ever buy anything from you? If you get that out of your head and start thinking, you know, my voice can be heard, should be heard, that is where it happens. That is when things start falling in place with, for you. So I, I want to talk about one other thing here before we head on. See, it only takes one course. See, I thought I needed like a hundred courses. It only takes one course to change your life and to change other people's lives. The key is when you make your course, you launch it, you launch it again, you launch it again, you launch it again, you launch it again, and you keep changing it, right? As people start telling you what else they want. Now you can make more than one course, but what I would do is I would focus on one. And guess what? Your first launch might not be good. My first launch in my course, I did my webinar, and this is the craziest thing because I'm kind of an introvert. So I did my webinar and nobody showed up. I was so pumped. But guess what happened? I didn't sell any. And it almost stopped me in my tracks. But then I started thinking, no, I am good what I what I do. I'm a good teacher. I just needed to go back and relearn and come back out, build a different tribe of people right? Go out and start doing my list building, getting it bigger and bigger and bigger and do my social marketing, get it bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when I marked the second time, when I did another launch, it took off like crazy. And I'm excited. I'm excited for you because you can do this. So let's review in here the five, five types of courses. The first one's the workshop course, you know, one to two hours long, pre-recorded or live. You charge $10 to $100. Very successful. Now, the next one's a starter course, which you can make more money at. It's just the next step up. It's usually $47 to $197. And you're going to take one thing and show people how to get started. And everything you want to do, you want to take people and transform them, get them to the next step. Step. The next one's called the spotlight course. It could be on anything. You could be a golfer and you could teach how not to slice. I was a golfer and I sliced all the time. So that's why I say that. And I would have paid anything to learn how not to because it really changes your game when you start controlling things. Anyway, that's another thing. But that is usually 197 to 497. The next one is your signature course or your core course, the Mac Daddy of all. This is where you're going for the biggest transformation where you're putting everything you know into a course and you're taking somebody from A 
to Z and changing their lives. That is so cool. And then the last one, the, the signature course, excuse me, can go from $497 to $3,000, and it can change your life and other people's lives. And the last one is certification coach, certification course. <laughs> and I don't do it. You know, I don't, but that's when people, they teach you how to become certified in some, something, life coach, health coach, whatever it is. And they can charge a lot of money for it. And they're usually very good at what they do. See, again, it only takes one course to change your income, to change your life. But the idea is one course to change somebody else's life. Hey, I had a great freebie for you. It's a resource back at marknelsononline.com forward slash 10 steps. It shows you 10 steps on how to create your digital course. It's a great freebie. So once again, marknelsononline.com forward slash 10 steps. Y'all take care.